Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we have a treat, a brand new helmet hot off the presses from HJC. It's the I-71. What's up, Speed Ags family? Before we jump in and tell you all about this brand new helmet from HJC, go ahead and do me a favor and, and subscribe to the channel here at Speed Addicts. That really helps us keep bringing you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase a helmet, be it at HJC or otherwise from us here at Speed Addicts, that'd be rad too. We make it real easy. There's a link in the description below to get over to this HJC i71 or shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So HJC, the number one helmet manufacturer by volume for a long time in the world. They keep coming out with new models fast and furious. We can barely keep up with stocking and cataloging all the new models they're throwing at us lately. The i71 and for that instance, anything in the 70 series, be it their ARFA line or the standard HJC line, 70 series, think sport touring. So this is a full face helmet with the interior drop down visor. It has comm system integration. So we'll separately more on that in a minute. It's a polycarbonate shell. It's gonna retail for 229 on the solids. Graphics go up to 274. So kind of middleweight in terms of the price point. Like I said, polycarbonate shell, that's keeping the price down, but it does bump the weight up a little bit. This helmet's coming in just under four pounds, making it somewhat on the heavy side, but it is packing a lot and we really like what we're seeing here. There's a lot to go over. It's packed with just about everything you could need for a sport touring lid uh, at this point. DOT homologation. I will say that uh, I put out some uh, questions, HAC, why they didn't label this as ECE 2206 as the European version does carry that homologation at this point. We're talking uh, winter of 2023 when we're making this video. We're waiting for more information uh, for them, what the differences are between the US version and those European versions, why they did not dual homologate the helmet. We're gonna update that in the description down below later. The fit is excellent. This helmet really feels premium. The fit is a perfect intermediate oval and it runs extremely true. It has big ear pockets, very, very comfortable place to be. It has three shell sizes that make up the range. You know, three shell sizes is pretty good um, in terms of the fit. You're not gonna wear a helmet that's too big for you, right? Cheaper helmets will use maybe one or two shell sizes, so I like to see three. You're gonna see a size range of extra small up through two extra large. Uh, for reference, I'm 24 inch circumference, right around you know 62 centimeters. The extra large is just fitting me uh, right on the mark go by that HJC sizing chart. And remember, when you shop for a helmet at Speed Addicts, not only will you outride your buddies next time you go out, but you might qualify for no cost returns. All you have to do is live in the lower 48 states, make sure the helmet's brand new and original packaging, and you're gonna get a free return label from us in just a few clicks. We make it real easy to exchange or return any products uh, here at speedaddicts.com. Okay, enough with my shameless plugs. Let's show you the goods here. This is the Nardo Gray. Definitely gonna be the top seller these days. This, this color way, of course, as we all know, extremely popular, good looking design, very modern, very chunky. This helmet, it, the, its footprint, it's not really long. It's more, it's more chunky, even though it doesn't fit that way. I wasn't close to the chin bar or anything like that, but just aesthetically, it's kind of cool looking. It's almost got a Street Fighter look to it, but the shield does not come down like some of those Street Fighter helmets. Um, so just very attractive off the bat. Now let's talk about the ventilation here. So standard chin bar vent. This is two position, very straightforward. Up on the top, you have another switchable vent all the way on or all the way off. In the rear, we have the exhaust. We do not have any exhaust down below the fold here. So there are no passive vents down low or other exhaust ports only. They're relying on this one exhaust point in the back. Would like to see a little bit more exhaust here, but the ventilation system is smart. It's channeled and ported. We're gonna show you that once we work our way onto the inside. So I imagine this will ventilate just fine um, when that ducting is in place there. Let's talk about the face shield. They did some very cool things here. Always reinventing the wheel with these helmet companies and the pivot kits here. So they got like a little triangle here. This is a Triforce, totally new uh, visor mechanism here. Now, the coolest part is this push to eject system they have here. So this little tab right here is going to be your locking me mechanism on the face shield. You're just gonna slide your finger over it and lift up and you're gonna unlock it. So you can see that spring loaded little snap and it's kind of molded into the helmet. It's good looking, it's not a big ugly switch or anything to break off there. As you push this down, that is gonna engage. 
and you're gonna get a really good seal. So when I drop this down, this helmet seals so well, it just, it sounds very airtight. So like a space helmet, right? So really good seal, nice gasket. This mechanism here is pulling the shield back onto the gasket as it closes down. Now to get the face shield off, this little finger pull is just that. No surprises there. You just stick your very intuitive, you know, stick your finger in there. You're going to pull that forward and then the face shield is going to come right off to put it back into place. Just line up the tabs, really fast shield changes. The shield is thick. It is pin lock prepped. You'll notice the nipples right here and they are including the pin lock insert at this price point, which is pretty nice. Pin lock inserts can run you about $40 separately. They're including the pin lock insert in the box in case you're not familiar. Pin lock inserts will reduce or mitigate fog. It's an extra lens that installs on the inside of your face shield to uh, deal with that fog. Now the interior shield is another story in itself. So this is a sun visor that is retractable. It's anti-fog treated, so you don't have to worry about fog on your interior shield. But something very unique and new with the I-70 is that this is adjustable in how far it will come down and come out. So I'm gonna show you that right now while we're talking about the face shield. The face shield, the internal sun shield is controlled by the switch on your left side all the way up, all the way down. Uh, that's pretty straightforward like you've seen from other helmets in the past. Now, we're gonna remove the side plate. This is also how you install the comms unit, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But uh, there's this little bumper right here. So we're, right now we're in the, the highest setting as far as how far it comes down and how far it comes out. Let's move that so it comes to its lowest setting. It has three settings. So let's go all the way up. And you're gonna notice that the face shield comes further down and further out. So, you know, it's hard to make these shields fit everybody's face and nose the same. And so HJC's made it adjustable. It's gonna come down further if you need it to and come out a little bit further. Really cool feature, especially considering a price point under 300 bucks that they baked in right here. So if I wanna set it to that low setting again, I'm just gonna bump this down and then it'll hang up a little bit higher based on your anatomy. Okay, let's put this back in place. Whoops, <clears throat> there we go. So those are the shields and let's show you the comm systems. So with the new helmets this year, they're rolling out new comm systems. The HJC smart units, the 10B and 20B are re being replaced by a 50B and a 21B. Now we're gonna come out with videos that detail all the features that you're getting from these new smart units. So look for that video to be coming soon. We'll put a link in the description below once we have those out for this video. But it's real straightforward. So these are made by Senna with that HJC label. The integration is nice and seamless. Okay, the control units install on one or both sides of the helmet. The battery pack installs in the back. They come with HD, HD speakers and they translate roughly to the equivalents from the Senna units. So the 50 series, Senna's top of the line, full mesh, uh, full voice command. That unit has two different control points, both on the left side and the right side, as far as the switching. And then uh, the 20B or 21B is equivalent to a Senna 20 series. So good for four-way intercom. Uh, they both have the same HD speakers and the 21B is only gonna have a control unit on this side and you're gonna keep this panel over on the right side. Again, if you want the full rundown on the integrated uh, communication units that are sold separately, check out those videos to come. Okay, one last thing before I turn the helmet over, let's just check out the, uh, the detent system here. So this is a three position visor. I always like to cover this because people wanna know. It's not a ratcheting visor. There's not a ton of detents. There's three stops. All the way open, partially open, and then closed totally locked. So I guess it's four position. This last position where it's just resting on the tab but not completely locked is a nice kind of demister. So if you just want a little bit of airflow and then you've got this kind of cracked open stop. Everyone wants to know. There you go. Let's flip it over. Check out the interior. You're going to notice you get a chin curtain. This is removable. You don't have to run it if you don't want to, but it's going to cut down on the noise in the helmet. Let me go ahead and pull that out of the place so we can see what is on the inside. There we go. Chin curtain removed. The other thing you're gonna notice, this is the pocket for the HJC smart system. This is where the battery goes. Again, control units on one or both sides. And then up here on the interior, you're gonna notice there is a nice recess 
for your microphone. That way the microphone's not right on your face and you can see the little channels for the wire. You can bring it over from either side. So <clears throat> the comm system, if you're gonna run comms, you have comms already. You can install your own comm system on here. It won't be totally integrated, but you can use the speaker pockets. You can use the mic pocket, but if you don't have comms or you wanna upgrade your comms, the, the 21 and 50 series, the new units are great. And you don't have a big brick hanging off the side of, uh, of your helmet. It makes it a lot more aerodynamic. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about bumping in on stuff and knocking it off. The charging port goes right here on the battery that gets inserted. So if you wanna charge that, that's how it works. Double DNA enclosure. Um, they didn't go with a quick release or anything like that. Let's check out the antimicrobial cheek pads. They have a nice uh, kind of felt feel. Helmet feels premium on your head. I'd say it, uh, if I was making a helmet in this price point, I was one of their competitors. Uh, sport touring under $300, I'd be a little bit nervous about this helmet. It is bringing a lot to the table here and has a real nice feel and fit. We're gonna pull that out. All right, there's our other cheek pad. Now we have exposed the speaker pockets. There you go, you can use the HD speakers from your smart unit or if you have a different comm system and the speakers fit, you'll be in good shape. And uh, let's remove this comfort liner here and show you the EPS. Now the EPS is channel imported. Okay, <clears throat> got that out of the way. So you don't have forehead snaps to run into your temples. You do have snaps here along the back, but they did not create any point pressure points for me. Nice 3D laser cut comfort liner premium. And you notice there's no mesh or anything here. That's nice, you get more airflow onto your scalp that way, okay? There's your comfort liner. Okay, now we can see the EPS liner, again, channeled and ported for that ventilation system to do it work. And you also got your speaker pockets here. Three-year warranty from HJC, like uh, all their helmets, except for the ARFA lineup where they do extend the warranty a little bit. Solid offering, integrated comms, adjustable drop-down visor, really spiffy, uh, face shield mechanism here, a great look. Tons of killer graphics coming right now. Selection is a little bit limited, but more and more of the i70s are gonna hit the United States over the next couple of weeks. So if you don't see the colorway you want right now, hang tight, they are coming. My only drawback on this helmet, just a touch heavy. I don't think it's a killer, given the price point, polycarb, a few ounces heavier than I'd want it to be, but overall killer offering from HJC. If there's a question I didn't answer, don't worry. Rider Support is standing by at speedaddicts.com. Yep, you can talk to a human over there through phones, live chat, or email. Of course, if you already got one of these, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. Appreciate you all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.